list the next topic we are going to analyze now is all about list which is also a part of a data structure list are one of the most common organizing tools people use in our day-to-day -day lives we have to do to-do lists for groceries for top 10 lists say bottom 10 list and many other types so that is nothing but a part of a data structure only where we list down whatever we need it or it is like list down whatever it's like do's and don'ts kind of thinking and you list it down and accordingly you plan it so that is the way data structure also works with this concept which is called as a list our computer programs can also use list particularly if we only have few items in store say for example list item lists are especially useful if we don't have to perform searches on the items in the list or put them into some type of a sorted order when we need to perform long searches or complex sorts such kind of thing list becomes less useful especially with more complex data structures so in this chapter we will be focusing on a simple creation of a list class we start with the definition first of all like understanding what is list so list is nothing but a ordered sequence of a data each data item stored in list is called as an element so it is like referred to as an element whatever the items which are stored in the list there are no predefined number of elements so there is nothing but like predefined number like list should have only this set of predefined items in it there is nothing like that list with no elements is referred as the empty list other thing it is also called as the ADT a list is also as a list abstract definition type so it is an abstract definition type because we focus on the completion of how many items are there in the list and how to manipulate those particular items in it the number of elements which are stored in the list are also fetched with the help of length of the particular list like we can get with the help of length parameter internally the number of elements in the list is kept in list size variable you can append them you can insert an element or you can remove a particular element in the given list so elements of a list are displayed to a particular person with the help of two string for javascript functionality because as we have the list function the list function is not that easily depictable to the layman user so that is why we use a javascript function that is two string to show a particular variable in the form of a string format so now we'll move to our code base in our code base we first of all create an html file and then after the html file we create a .js file which is the associated list.js file and we will check the output in our console starting with our code base so this is our code base i'll just remove the extra additional files that we worked in our last chapter now i'll create a new folder so that folder will be inside javascript structure so i'll create a new folder over here and the name of the folder will be list as we did for arrays so same i'll follow over here now inside list i'll create a new file and the name of the file will be the first list so i'll just mention as list.html now inside list.html i will mention the doc type so i'll say doc type html i'll complete this after that i'll start with html tag this will be the normal html page so we'll follow the same standards we'll have head inside head i'll call for board title the title will call for say this is the list example with java script because we are focusing on java script implementation on each and every data structure after title comes the next part is the meta care beta should be present before title actually meta cassette utf8 this is my cassette so i mentioned my cassette now after the head tag comes the body tag so i'll mention the body tag inside body i'll call for a specific javascript so that will be mentioned as script i'll mention the type as type equal to src it will be text it will be mentioned as text text javascript 
this is my first type and after that i'll mention the source code that is given by src as a particular source code so my source code will be in say file name list.js so i'll complete the script tag so my body tag is finished i can also give the h2 tag saying this is list illustration okay so now after creating the html file the next section i need to do is to create my js file which is the important file so i'll just name it as list.js the way we did it so inside list.js first of all i'll create a function which will focus on creation of list so my function name will be called as the function list so i'll say function and the name will be list okay now inside this function i will include all the parameters which are needed like for retrieval of the values or say to append a particular value or to remove a value or fetching up the length of the list so we have a number of parameters so we'll start with this function inside this first of all i will define the list size so i say this dot list size will be 0 so this will be my first parameter and after this so i have given my first parameter after that comes this dot position so i'll say pos as 0 after that comes this dot data store i'll mention the data store so data store is a blank array so data store is nothing but initializing a array to store list element so i'll just mention this in comment so this initializes the array in store list elements okay so after this comes two string characters so i'll say this dot two string will be given as two string then comes this dot append will be given as append this dot remove will give the parameter remove and next last but not the least is to fetch the length value so i'll say length so i've given all the parameters now i need to just create the functions for length appending as well as for removing there is also a function for retrieving and everything but i will just include the basic functions say for length of the particular list like we have to fetch the length of the list so length of the list can be fetched with the help of this function so my function name will be function length inside length i will not give any parameter my list will call for length function and it it should return the list size as i mentioned earlier like all the parameters are fetched with the list size especially the length parameter so i'll just say list size this dot list size will return the length of the particular list after that comes appending the element appending the element so appending the element is done as function append and then comes element so here i'll pass the parameter as element now inside element i'll call for a data store so i'll say this dot data store because that is the one which initializes the empty store this dot data store and inside that i'll take the parameter as this dot list size and i will append it in the last section so that will be plus plus with the increment value and my element will be appended over here okay so this was the understanding for the functionality of append so now what we need to do is to we need to create a two string character so two string will be mentioned as function two string inside two string we can mention with returning the data store parameter so i'll just mention this dot data store so whenever we get a list it will be fetched in the string format and will be given to the end user in that particular format 
So now after creating the list of functions, the next section we need to do is to create a variable, say names, and my names will be new list. Because I call for my function list, so that will be my new list. And my names will append for these values. So I'll say, I'll call for this append parameter, append. The names will be, say, Cynthia. Okay. I'll just copy paste this particular sentence because I'm going to append even more values. Say, Raymond. This is also one more value. After that comes the next values, say Parker. So these were some of the values which I'm adding. So my list should appear in this particular format. Like first value should be Cynthia. Second is Raymond. And after that comes Parker. And after that you will say console.log names. And after specifying the names, you need to print it. So this will print first parameter, will print only my list. The next parameter which I'm giving right now is console.log names dot to string. To string. So this will print all your string like list in the format of string. Okay. So now we need to check in our browser like what kind of output we are getting. So let's move to our browser. So this is a browser section. So we already had a reference with arrays. Now moving on to the next that is list. So list here I'll call for list.html. So this was the h2 tag statement which we mentioned that this is the list illustration. Now here you can see the first console was to printing the values as a list. So it is printing with all the parameters say append, data store, length, list size, position, remove various set of the parameters are included over here. Whereas when it comes to this, like producing two string kind of a parameter for the particular list section. Now inside here, you can see that all the parameters are listed properly in the systematic manner. Like first my list was appended with Cynthia, which was my first append value. After that I gave Raymond and then came Parker. So in this way, list value depicts uh, like a perfect scenario of how to list a particular element in a brilliant way. Now we did that. Now the next parameter we need to check is for length. We already had a function for length. So moving to our code base. So here for calling up the length, say for example, I'll print a console. So my console will be console.log and it will print the value, the length of the given list and it will print the value for length as names dot length it will call for length function with quotes because length function will automatically give you the data storage whatever it is present in it now let's go to our browser and check whether the value i'm getting is right or not so as my list consists of three values so the length of the given list is three See, in this way, the three parameters successfully is retrieved, which means that my list value is for three values, three parameters in it. So this was about creating a particular list. You can also clear a list. So let's create a function for clearing up the list. So for clearing, the list will be given over here. So this is my code. So inside this, I'll create a function for clearing list, say function. And the name of the function is clear. And inside clear, I'll say delete this dot data store. Okay, so it will remove all the data store. This dot data store will be again given with an empty array value the way we did it. And after that, my list size, list size will be according to the position so that is nothing but zero so now if i will call for a function say clear function for names dot clear then automatically it will clear all the values over here you just need to say names dot clear so in that scenario whatever the list value was there it will be truncated or removed permanently 
if you want to create it again you need to append the values again so this was all about understanding the basic functionality of list